what is this mosaic expedition that everybody is talking about and how can wintering a ship in the central arctic can help our understanding of the arctic ocean well this is what we want to cover in this episode of sea ice stories maybe recently in the media you have heard about the big mosaic expedition mosaic stands for a multidisciplinary observatory for the study of the arctic climate and it is a big international expedition that is going to start this September in the Central Arctic Ocean and will provide us with a lot of insights about the Arctic climate and ecosystem. In the beginning of the last century, Fridtjof Nansen drifted aboard the vessel Fram across the entire Arctic Ocean. His vessel got stuck in the ice in north of Russia in the ice and then it drifted for several years with the transpolar drift until he reached the Fram Strait. During this expedition he got a lot of valuable scientific knowledge about the Arctic. For example, the first bathymetric map of the Arctic Ocean. He though didn't reach his initial goal, which was actually to reach the North Pole and conquer it for Norway. But Turns out his ship did not drift exactly across the North Pole. So in 2019-2020 scientists from many different countries are going to try a similar expedition again but this time on a modern ice strengthened research vessel the German icebreaker Polarstern. Polarstern will freeze into the ice north of Russia in September October of 2019 and then it will operate an entire year frozen into the ice pack and with it there will be a big amount of scientists that are staying on this vessel to study the sea ice study the ocean study the biology that is living in and underneath the sea ice and also to study the atmosphere so the plan is to study the general system the entire earth and climate system and also to study it in seasons when we are normally not there like in winter. Similar expeditions have been conducted approximately every 25 years throughout the last century. The most well known is the Shiba expedition which stands for surface heat and energy balance of the Arctic Ocean. So during this expedition we learned a lot about the Arctic sea ice and on this expedition actually most of the parameterization in our current climate models regarding the Arctic Ocean are based on this expedition. This expedition was in the end of the 90s and since the end of the 90s a lot of things have changed in the Arctic. The ice drift has gotten much faster, the ice got thinner, the physical properties of the ice change. There's now much more light underneath the ice, which has impacts on the biology, on the ecosystem, etc. So scientists figured that it would be a time now to do another of such expeditions and to check whether these parameterizations that we are still using in global climate models are actually still working or how we can improve them to improve our climate forecasting skills. Of course, freezing a scientific vessel into the Arctic Ocean is a large logistical undertaking and is only possible if many nations collaborate together. So, for example, the scientists are of course not staying each 12 months on the boat. The expedition is divided into six legs of two months each on the boat and then scientists and crew are exchanged by icebreakers from multiple helping countries. For example, by Russian icebreakers, Swedish icebreakers and the Chinese icebreaker. Also, the whole project involves scientists from many different countries. And we have been already many years planning this expedition to the very detail and we are all very looking forward to the start of it. But it is also a very busy summer for us preparing for such a big operation. I will also join Mosaic for several legs, uh, both during winter and during summer, to study especially the optical properties of the Arctic ice pack. My main job during that expedition is to plan and operate 
the ROV that we plan to deploy from the ice flow that the ship is locked into every week approximately and learn a lot about the physical properties of the ice but also especially about the spatial variability of the optical properties so that we learn when and how how much light is getting through the sea ice in the arctic ocean if you're curious now about the expedition you can go to the website of the expedition mosaicobservatory.org and inform yourself about the expedition I hope now you're interested to follow the Mosaic Expedition on the various media outlets that will provide information about the expedition and I'm sure you will hear more on my channel as well. With that, I want to wish you a nice day.